You know, moms are great, okay? Without moms, we would experience a 1984 dystopian society <laughs> almost immediately with all the f***ing comedians making your mom jokes every 15 nanoseconds. Just like I do. Moms do so much for us. They transform their stomachs into a sphere containing the Marvel Universe only to have to deal with us going wah, wah, all the damn time. They give us milk so that we don't wah, wah, all the damn time. They nurture us and care for us. I mean, most of them at least. And they buy us a new copy of the Bible when we ask for a henti game on Steam. And then you end up playing Nekopara and wonder where the f*** everything went wrong with your life. They even buy us that new friggin' $200 Lego set that we end up abandoning within like 2 nanoseconds. God damn it, Jimmy, I paid my life savings for that Lego set, you better fucking play with it. But what about moms in anime? You know what? We need more moms in anime. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of seeing minimal mother representation, and when we do see a mom, they're being treated like they're nothing, and that really upsets me. See, anime likes to do this really cool thing called fan service, so me and my fellow 15 year olds can get horny when there's a fighting scene happening between fucking firefighters. And while unfortunately, anime moms are commonly used as a product for fan service, or they might just be there for like one minute and then never be seen again for the whole entire show, if they are even there in the first place. One of the many examples is the MILF isekai, the mother I'd love to fuck isekai. Basically, the whole show, like every other isekai, has nothing different to offer, except for a hot mom. Look, look I, I know this is just another boring isekai, but, 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 but there, there, there's, a, there's a hot mom this time with uh, big titters. Uh, come on, just, just love the horniness, bro. The show has nothing else to offer that's all that special, except for a hot MILF in the show that's apparently supposed to make it unique. Surprise, surprise! It doesn't. It really sucks because so many mothers in anime are just used for fan service or are there for minimal importance when they could be so much more. Moms are some of the most caring people on this damn planet. How can we not show this in anime? Well, there actually are some great moms in anime. So today, I wanted to take a look at some great moms that are just genuinely awesome moms and characters. First one, Deku's mom. Deku always had the dream of being a hero and his mom has always been there for him, even when she knew that Deku had some conditions that would make it quite difficult for him to become a competent hero, she still never gave up and kept with it to motivate him. Sanai Furukawa from Clan F. There will be minor spoilers up ahead, so proceed with caution. She is honestly one of the best mothers hands down. Instead of doing nothing for the whole story, Sanai actually takes care of her daughter and we see this numerous times. Like for example, she takes care of Nagisa, her daughter, when she's struck with her unknown illness at random parts of the year. Not only that, but Sanai also does so much for everyone involved with Nagisa, like Nagisa's boyfriend, Tomeya. She lets him stay over at her house because of his alcoholic father. She even takes care of Nagisa and Tomeya's child because she also has the weird freaky weaky unknown illness. She's even a fake girlfriend for someone, like seriously, it's amazing that the lengths that she would go to. Thanks, mommy. And plus, she's uh, very beautiful, but the show doesn't show her titters every 15 nanoseconds like most other shows do with their moms to Get a quick bone down there if you know what I mean. But not only that, she also has quite a bit of character depth. There's literally a whole arc that is majorly linked to show how Sanai had to give up her dreams for a relationship and how she had to give up her dreams to take care of Nagisa. Now that's how you do character depth for a mother character. If you want to know how to write a mother character, Sanai is how you do it. She's nurturing, she's caring, she's pretty, has character depth, she's just an all-around great package. Kushina Uzumaki from Naruto, by the way, another minor spoiler warning. We don't really get to see much of her, but when we did see her, when Naruto met her in that weird mystical La La Land, it was really touching. She basically died just to make sure Naruto was safe, and it seemed like she genuinely cared about him. Even with the relatively few scenes we get of her, we can pretty much gather what she was like as a person and as a mother. Overall, she just seems like a great mother, and it sucks that Naruto never really got to experience it. Just from those three alone, you can see the potential moms have in anime. They can be so much more than just for fan service or as a plot device for some of the main characters. Then you also got the moms who aren't moms but are basically like motherly figures. A perfect example is Misato Katsuragi, everyone's favorite hot purple haired mommy. I think about this every day. 
I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. Oh my god, no way, she's Dark Mane's wife because they both are purple. Holy schnitzels, that's crazy. Misato is Shinji's guardian, so it really creates the scene that she is the mother since she also seems like she's on the older side. Misato treats him nicely, except for the times Shinji won't get in the fucking robot. God damn it, Shinji, can you just please get in the fucking robot? Even though she can be harsh on the guy, it seems like she's over all approaching him with good intentions and just wants what's best for him. Misato herself has ticked all the boxes. She's hot, badass, and kissed a 14 year old child and offered sex to that same 14 year old. Yeah, maybe I'll rethink my opinion on her. She's also layered with character depth, that being depression. Just like everyone else in this fucking show. See, I think a lot of shows just don't really see the importance of a mother in an anime, and as a result, it can make the mother characters often feel very underwhelming, which makes me really sad. And honestly, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of this bullshit. Come on, moms are some of the most awesome people on this entire friggin' planet. They make you dino nuggies, how can you not appreciate them? Now that's not to say I don't like some hot moms every now and then, MILFs can be decent if done properly, but don't make it their entire character please. Oh, uh, uh, look, this mom has got some uh, big, big titters and uh, big answers, and, and uh, uh, that, that means she's a cool character, guys. Yeah, yeah. Moms in anime generally don't get enough appreciation. People should treat moms in anime like an actual mother and give them importance. And the fan service or good looks can be just a little bonus if that's your sort of thing. And one thing I'd like to say is... Show your mom some appreciation today. Most of them do so much for you. And don't do it just on mommy day. Do it every day we exist on this godforsaken earth. They make you chicken tendies and nuggies whenever you're feeling down. They take care of your whining ass when you get told you can't buy GTA at six fucking years old. Most moms genuinely care for you and love you with all of their heart. So really give them the same gratitude and appreciation they deserve. So happy Mother's Day, and I really hope you guys appreciate your moms today just a little bit. You know, moms are great in real life, and they really do deserve the love and appreciation in anime, and I really hope in the future of anime, we'll get to see more amazing mother characters. Anyways, uh, C.VA, when are we gonna do that uh, MILF tier list?